Hey everybody, and welcome to my second devlog for my entry into the game off game jam. So for the enemies, let's first talk about design. If you watched my last devlog, you'll remember this off the cuff enemy I drew in the concept art. And later I realized I actually really liked the way they looked, even though I pretty much just ripped it off from the flood from Halo. My pixel art skills still aren't great, so it actually took me quite a while to get from the sketch to something I was even remotely happy with, but I eventually got there. As you can see, I'm drawing in grayscale first, and then I come back and fill in the colors later, which is something I learned from watching Brandon James Greer on YouTube. In fact, I learned everything I know about pixel art from watching him, so I would highly recommend checking him out if you are interested. I drew in these veins around the head and made the torso the skin tone-like color. I really wanted them to just look like fleshy sacks that were being carried by these insect-like legs. Then I wanted to get some basic animations working, so I taught myself how to animate by just watching some videos on YouTube, and uh, ended up working out pretty well. I started out just making left, right, and upward animation walking because that's mostly how you're going to see these guys moving. To get this all working in Godot, I just used a blend space 2D from the animation player. Each enemy calculates which direction it's walking, so I just had them feed that to the animation player and it handled showing which animation was correct. On a more functional note, I set up attacking by just giving an area 2D to the enemies and telling them to attack anything that entered that area. I thought it was pretty boring just having this one type of enemy for right now, so I quickly made a little mite type scarab enemy that uh, just moves slower and has less health. I did this in much the same way I made the first one. Finally, I just made this blood spurt effect using the particles 2D node in the dough. I wanted it to look like it was kind of flowing and dissolving away in the low gravity of the moon. So the next thing I wanted to do was address this ugly gray background and start creating the moon and space atmosphere that I've been imagining. I had the idea for this multi-layered space background for a while, so I started working on that first. The first rendition is just a really simple bunch of white pixels on a black background, which really does look pretty good. The next thing I did is isolate a layer of these stars which are going to be flickering. And then finally I drew a layer of these colorful planets, which are going to be the closest thing in the background to the player. To achieve this multi-layered movement effect, I used Godot's parallax background node. I put each layer on their own parallax layer, and then in code, in the physics process, I would made each one move at a different speed. The layers which are closer to the player I have moving much faster, and the layers in the far back are barely moving. This really adds a lot of depth to the background. Then I started getting to work on the surface of the moon, which is by far the hardest thing I did. I had in my head this image of this hyper-realistic and beautiful pixel art moon surface, but uh, as I said, I'm not that good at pixel art, so yeah. But I was really committed to making this look good, so I spent a whole day just kind of figuring out this style and how to draw like this, and eventually it really all started coming together. I'm actually pretty happy with the way this came out, and I don't think I'll be making too much changes to this in the future. So November is now halfway over, and this is about the time you start to think about scope creep. And this is definitely affecting me, particularly when I'm spending a whole day working on the artistic background. Now, don't get me wrong, I think this was really important in getting the game where I want it to be, but I'm going to spend the rest of the time here trying to get a minimum viable product, or somewhere where the player can select, upgrade, and build turrets, shoot them down, and kill enemies. Um, so with that being said, we'll see if I make another devlog or just make a post-mortem. That being said, I really need help naming this game. Uh, right now I've come up with Lunar Bastion, which sounds okay, or Lunar Defense. But uh, yeah, go ahead and let me know in the comments below if you've got a name for this. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me and the algorithm out. And um, yeah, have a great day.